are there she blows matey well actually she's not blowing but she's looked like she's steaming something huh it's just clouds the magnificent mountain Mount Adams Washington we're here at Yosetti Ranch in Mount Adams this is the Skywatch Field where all the wonderness happens even for Tonto that's a for real uh, teepee you know you, you look at it man when you're over there it's huge it's like 20 feet tall and uh, it's like in a movie Dancing with Wolves with Kevin Costner you know when he was when they were showing him what his animal spirit was. Really cool. Inside it's huge. It creates a vortex inside of energy. It's really kind of a cool thing. They do certain um, meditation spiritual practices in there from the American Native Indian cultures. And uh, this is the Sky Watch. This is where we saw tons of... I've been here two nights now and we've seen probably at least 30 UFOs of the 30 we could get half of them to respond to uh, to lasers and um, and when they respond to lasers what they do is they uh, they power up it means that they have a, a certain reflectance or illuminance as they're coming uh, into this. This is a portal. This this area is it's a stargate. And when you see them coming in here, they're usually high elevation because they're leaving some other place on the planet that doesn't have a portal. And they they come in kind of high, and and you 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 know when I first seen them, I I swear I, oh those are satellites, you know. But when you put the laser on them, they light up really, really bright. They change directions and stuff, and they are acknowledging our presence, and it is so cool. But this is it, a SETI ranch. Um, we did a video last night with the uh, infrared camera, and we had some really nice power-ups. You know, they're just flying along, and you put the laser on them, and they acknowledge you and they fire up their their energy and they just light up like you just can't believe. And then they do a little zigzag or whatever and it's just awesome to, to to get a reaction, you know, from an extraterrestrial vehicle in space. And that Mount Adams right there, they say that there's a an ET base inside the mountain. And they were um, last night there was lights up there in the snow big lights and you know the speculation is whether or not they're they're markers for portals to enter the mountain or whatever but they were those lights were on and off and then on and off and then half intensity and then high intensity and all night long and it was a pretty cool thing because nobody can be up there. The snow's like you know, 10 foot deep in some places. You know, you can't drive up there. It's way above the tree line. You can see where the tree line starts or stops, I should say. And uh, the heavy snow, especially on that, that would be the western face because the, in this direction, going that direction, it's exactly north, uh, true north course 14 degrees that way right about where that saddle is right there is where um, it's about right there is where the magnetic north is from this um, coordinate on our planet but it's just a fascinating place man a SETI ranch uh, James Gilliland you know starseed extraordinaire and <laughs> master of all healing and several different uh, disciplines and 
And the guy is, uh, he's magical. I had a reading done to find out what my true ancestry is, where I came from. You know, it's a question we all have, you know, what's our origin, right? And you think it's like the furthest thing from us. It didn't take him five minutes. He has, he worked with another master with me in between them. And the energy, was flown heavy and uh, the energy in this whole area just is incredible and apparently <laughs> my ancestry where I come from is Cirrus B that would make me a feline being fifth dimensional panther whoa and it answers a lot of questions because there is nobody more intolerant nobody more intolerant to helpless people being picked on by stronger people been that way all my life and uh... The feline beings are no, known as uh, the protector. The protectors, let me see, that they wrote it down. Um, yeah. uh, benevolent protectors. Feline beings. Nashigra is the word that the Indian, you know, the Eastern Indians use, and they are the benevolent uh, protectors. They are. They are the police for all of the family of light. They're 12 foot tall beings. Imagine that. A 12 foot tall black fifth dimensional panther is what my life was before I signed a contract to come to this planet. Whoa. Hard to get your arms around that. But the energy just came through. They pinpointed time points when I had the biggest traumas in my life and they were dead on as far as the year. When they, when they said the year, energies from your six year old, eight year old, 10 year old, 14 year old, and all of those dates I can pick out significant negative manifestations in my life that created to my, those negative energies and patterns that we carry through our development years. And uh, we cleared those, and very happy, very happy. And now I know who my spiritual guide is as well. My spiritual guide Her name is Kama, K-A-M-A. She's a sixth dimensional feline being, which means that she's one of the lions. She's one of the lion beings. And she is my spiritual guide. So the minute I get back home, I'm going to be leaving in a short while and get back on the road, get home, so that I can continue my clearing and healing and development with her as my guide. I've been looking for my guide for six months and, you know, got nowhere, you know. And so James, James and Jana. They put the whole program together. Man. Good people for 125 bucks and 50 bucks a night to stay in one of these nice little shacks they got here. And then live in this energy and the wonders of the nature here is just phenomenal. And the energies. So, if you guys have that problem, you know, they're right here in Mount Adams, a SETI ranch in Mount Adams, Washington. So, I just wanted to pass that guys along. I haven't done a video in a while. And 
since my transition from left side of the brain to the right side of my brain, this is like the most significant thing ever in my life. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. So I'll talk with you guys when I come up with something else. You guys be good. I love you all.